Okay, so this is about calculating sample size. So we did all the confidence. There's three different types of confidence interval questions. And we're going to go over two examples of sample size. And uh, this is a little bit shorter, but the beginning process is the same. Um, so you are a travel agent. You want to estimate with 95% confidence the proportion of vacationers who plan to travel outside the U.S. in the next 12 months. You initially did a study and found with 95 confidence that the proportion of vacationers that will travel outside the U.S. is 0.22 0.82 or 22 to 82% of the vacationers. That's way too big. It's not going to help you. I want to narrow it down. So your study was too small. So you wish for the margin of error to just be 2% or 0.02. You want to be within 0.02. So what would your sample size have to be to get that margin of error 0.02? So if we go back to here, this is your Google Drive, shared drive, and probability statistics and confidence intervals, same place where we found the other notes. We're going to go to uh, confidence interval. Now we're going to go down here to calculate sample size. So we can open that up. That's in our shared drive. So let's give you the steps to do this problem if it ever opens. Oops, something. There we go. We got order. As you can see, uh, there we go. All right. Step one, what's the type of problem? If you looked at the other three examples on confidence intervals, you'll notice that this is the same step. Is it proportion or sample mean? So if I go to my example, I need to see. All right. So let me look at what I'm doing. You want to make a 95%. Let's start up here. You travel agent want to estimate 95% confidence of the proportion of vacationers. Notice the proportion of vacation. So I see proportion. I notice that 2% is a proportion. It's not an average. 0.02 is a proportion. So step one, step one is type of problem is a proportion problem. Step two, where's my notes? There they are. So step two, determine the sample size. This is the same. Uh, steps that we can do in the other one. That's what we're trying to do is determine the sample size for sample proportion. So that's going to give me this side. And here's the formula for sample size. All right, so here's the formula for sample size. So we're going to do n equals the z. We're going to need to get the z over the margin of error. They give us that. I square that, multiply that by p and q. So I need z, I need the margin of error, I need p, and I need q. Let me, you know, let me just take this whole thing from here. You guys can do this too. If you have your notes open, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in here. And let's see what happens. So these are the things I need. I'm trying to find N. I need my Z. We're going to look that up. I need my margin of error. It should give us that in the problem. I need my P. That's my sample proportion. That was my initial sample proportion. So we did this and initially we got what? I have to figure that out. So I'm gonna take what's in the middle of 0.22 and 0.82. So what's directly in the middle of 0.22 and 0.82? So to figure that out, I'm just going to average that. I'm going to do 0.22 plus 0.82 and divide that by 2. And I'll get me 0.62. I just took the two ends of the interval, add them together, and divide it by 2. And that's your P. And my Q is 1 minus 0.62, which would equal 0.38. So I got these two pieces. And 
vehicles. We don't have this yet. Let's fill that in later. Let's actually um, bring this whole thing down. It's already been done for us. It's tricky to use the formula function, so I'm going to do this as I get my pieces in. I will put them in here. So P becomes 0.62. And Q becomes 0.38. So we need Z. And I need my margin of error. Margin of error, we want it to be, we got to look for that. You wish for the margin of error to be just 2%. Or 0.02. So that they gave us should not be a comma. So 0.02 would go down here and that just leaves me with my z i want 95 percent confidence interval so i'm going to go to classwork i'm going to look at my distributions i want the confidence interval z's which are at the bottom and it said we wanted one 95 percent 95% is 1.96. see that down here, 1.96, 95%. So basically we just find them, you have the formulas on that one page in your notes, and then we're just gonna have to grab a calculator. I'll go to my handy dandy calculator. Now that I have everything here, and I want everybody to show me this. Every time you do this, I want to see what you're doing. And there is one little caveat we want to talk about once we do our calculation. For me to get a 2% margin of error, I'm going to do 1.96. So you know what? We forgot about, we forget about this part. Let's square that, whatever that is. You can do shift six. At least I can do shift six and that'll do the squared part for you. All right, so make sure we have our calculator divided by 0 0.02. So that's 98. Now we're going to square 98 X squared button. 9,604 times 0.62. Good minus 62. Again, let me clear that. Sorry, See, I noticed that I, I look, it didn't seem right. I multiplied that by 0.62 and I did not get an answer that was smaller or much smaller. So let's try it again 1.96 by 0.02. Let's see what that is. I hit enter, I got my answer. Now I'm going to square that. Now, this should go down a bunch. So I'm going to do times 0.62. That looks better. And then times, and this should go down by like a third. Down to a third of that. So I got 2,262.7024. Remember, we're talking about items and people. You can't have a 0.7 of a person. So we're going to need to bump this. No matter what you're doing, you're always going to need to bump it up one. No matter what you get, if you got a decimal, even if I got 2262.01, I'm still going to bump it up to 2,263 because I need that extra person. How many people I would have to survey in order to get a 2% margin of error. So whatever my... Proportion would be, I'd subtract about 2% from each side. And that'll give me a nice idea of the actual percentage of people. Instead of somewhere between 22 and 82%, it may be somewhere between 30 and 34 we might get, or something like that. If we, but notice we would have to redo a sample. We'd have to take another sample this time of 2,263 people. 